Coming up on the DMT One to One Show, episode 70, recorded on the 12th of August 2014, an interview with Matthias Strobel, CMO at Nagua Sounds. Hello everyone and welcome to the DMT One to One Show, where we chat to interesting startups and digital music projects. And this week it's a real pleasure to have Matthias Strobel on the show, the CMO at Nagua Sounds. So hi Matthias and thanks for joining me. How's it going? Hi, very good, thank you. It's great to have you and, uh, uh, you know, I've uh, talked with you guys uh, back at South by Southwest, it was probably five months ago, and we have a short video of that interview on uh, YouTube still, but uh, of course a lot of listeners of, of uh, DMT may not have uh, uh, seen that video yet, uh, I recorded a lot at South by Southwest, so uh, first of all, uh, what is uh, Nagua Sounds all about, and can, can you tell us a little bit about how the company got started? Yeah, so we uh, we developed a technology that um, allows us to translate any kind of data streams into music. But um, for our first product, we use the bodily movements in front of a Kinect camera as data input and translate this data into music in real time. So what we do is we assign specific sound elements and instruments to your arms and legs. And once you start moving, you can create music through your movement. It's all about the position and speed of your hands and legs. And um, it's not just triggering loops or um, pre-produced clips. You generate notes through your movement. So if you lift your hand up, you create higher notes. And if you lift your hands down, you create lower notes. And you also have four different fields on a dance floor, on a virtual dance floor, where you can like have an, an other, other moods in the, in the song so that you can create your own track through moving the, through these four fields yeah. and um, through the movement of your arms. And it all started um, two and a half years ago when um, Arthur and Mark, one of the other co-founders, met. Um, Mark was a, a classical composer and used to write operas and instrumental pieces at that time. And Arthur was a techno producer. So they started to do music together. And um, yeah, what came out was something between classical and techno. And um, yeah, then they started how can we they started thinking how can we get all the people into the music production process itself so they, sure. they, they start, started looking for a way to do so and um yeah um the story is that arthur went out to clubs a lot these times and um he had identified so much with the music often when he was out dancing then he thought how cool would it be if i could create the music through my dance moves yeah. and um mark remembered the idea he had in the sleep laboratory 15 years ago when he visited a friend he watched it all the crafts and um, he thought, oh, how cool would it be to translate people's dreams into music? But this data couldn't be translated at that, that time. Yeah. And then they talked to, with each other and the Kinect camera came on the market. And suddenly they had the tool to combine both ideas. And um, what comes out is Nagwell Dance. Uh, today we're talking about the fact that you're launching an Indiegogo campaign, which is awesome, uh, to uh, raise a crypto crowdfund, essentially the development of a Nagwell Dance. And so uh, can you tell me a little bit about what the project is around that and uh, uh, what, what the uh, end uh, product is going to be? Yeah, so the product is going to be a software and the software is called Nagwell Dance. And um, we're going to do the Indiegogo campaign um, from tomorrow at 4 p.m. And it's going to last for 40 days. At the end of the campaign, we're hoping or we're aiming for to um, get the goal that we are aiming for. And then um, we're going to finish Nagual Dance in the next two to three months so that we, can, we will bring out it, we will launch it by the end of fall or by the beginning of winter. And then it's easy. Then um, we provide the software somewhere yeah. on our website, on a shop system. So that um, the people can download the software and all they then need is just the Kinect for Windows, plug it into their laptop or computer and they can just start dancing and um, create their own track. And That's awesome. we provide, so, yeah. So you don't, need a, you don't need an Xbox essentially? No, you don't need an Xbox. All you need is a computer or a laptop and um, our software. And to, to bring like the music that everybody wants to create music into to, to all the people, we provide soundscapes because the music is, yeah. is created in soundscapes and soundscapes are interactive music pieces. That, that means that um, we don't um, produce tracks, we produce tracks with musical possibilities. That means if you stand in, in the Nagual dance and you choose the soundscape uh, hip hop uh, X, Y, Z, and you start, uh, you start dancing, it's going to sound different than if I would start dancing. Yeah. So, um, it all depends on you, how you use the instruments that are on your arms and legs. And um, yeah, we provide these soundscapes in all kinds of genres. So we provide them in techno and hip hop and the house. And um, yeah, 
And uh, so everybody can choose the soundscape he prefers to create music in. That's awesome. And uh, the cool thing is that, of course, so there's a video, for example, on YouTube. If you uh, Google Nagel Dance and Fire Dance, so that you'll find yeah. that's the latest one you've uploaded. And that sort of gives you a bit of a taster of how it would work if you had two people, uh, whereby one controls the uh, rhythm of the track and the other one controls the melody. And so, but I guess you have all sorts of uh, infinite combinations that you can do around that. Yeah, it's it's all uh, the 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 system behind that is always like that. It's always you can have like the Shori prefer music to create in, and um, if you if you want to dance together with a friend, then the ch second person just jumps in and then um, takes part of the melodies or the drums. So, and you don't have to stop the whole thing. So if you're if you're dancing and like let's say you're having a party back home and you're starting like an interactive dance party, you start dancing and everybody can jump in, can jump off, and um, so it's like open. It's not that um, you have to to control to 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 configure different things there. Yeah. That uh, you start doing the thing. It's all pre prefigured for you to just start dancing. And um, yeah, you can also record the track actually. So if you want to create the track and record it, and afterwards share it with your friends or just listen to it, you can do that. Yeah. And so uh, um, uh, tell me a little bit about how, how the journey went, because uh, you've been around quite a bit in the last sort of 12 months and we've bumped into one another uh, quite a bit uh, around the world. And so, uh, you know, of course, from winning, uh, winning uh, a prize at, uh, at the Medium Lab competition to uh, going to South by and going to the Miami Music Summit after that. So what have you taken away from those events and sort of how has that helped uh, shape how you plan to take the product project forward? Oh, it, it was like for us, it was really important to do that because wherever we went and wherever we set up Nagwell Dance, it was for us like um, the best feedback we can get because there were like pretty diverse occasions. Yeah. So we, yeah. we had it on South by Southwest with um, different people. Then in Miami, in Miami, there were also professional dancers there where it gave us feedback to say, look, we would like prefer to have it that way or that way. So um, for us, it was good to have that all. We went to so we we also had like an installation in a school for disabled children, people with autism and spastics, and um, people or children who never thought that they could be musically creative. Yeah. And um, when we set it up there, they had so much fun to like just create, the, like have a direct audio feedback of their movements, and they they totally understood it after like half an hour. They were totally into that, and this also helped us a lot to to recognize okay. This is a proof of what we already thought that it would help to, for disabled children as well. And um, we just have to like do things there and that, that it better fits for them. But um, yeah, this, like every event or every installation that we do is like a perfect feedback for us to yeah. shape it, the whole product and to polish it. Yeah. Absolutely. And talking about, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's great. And talking about the soundscapes. So, uh, uh, you uh, posted that one of the stretch goals of the Indiegogo is going to be also being able to create more tools to, for the production of soundscapes. So, uh, you know, at the moment, how do you go about producing them and are you getting external people involved or is it mostly yourselves? Uh, right now, it's um, mostly ourselves producing all the soundscapes, but um, we're definitely looking for people who are willing to do a soundscape with us together. So the thing right now is that the whole production software is in-house and it's yeah. kind of a complicated tool and it's hard to to learn somebody how to produce the soundscapes. But um, right now we have two external producers that we're working with, and but they are both from Berlin. So they come to our studio and we talk and they bring their ideas, they bring their, their, their um, composition ideas and we talk about that. And, this is the way it works right now. So we, we yeah. work with people together and um, exchange ideas and finish a soundscape together with them. In the future, like in a pretty far future, we are aiming to have a production software that <laughs> every producer out there can produce their own interactive soundscapes, which, the, which they can then upload in our soundscape library. And everybody out there who uses Nago Dance can download the soundscapes and can create music out of that. Yeah. So this is the future plan that we definitely have if we reach one of the stretch goals that we have for our Nico campaign. That's awesome. And so uh, the, the the cool thing is, that, of course, the company is called Nagel Sounds, and Nagel Dance is just the, you know the first product. And uh, uh, as you mentioned earlier, you realize that there's actually a much wider potential for the technology to be used uh, on all sorts of different issues, uh, um, issues and industries, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, we, what we're doing is we create music out of data, and we have data almost everywhere at any time today. Yeah. So we are always in contact with that, and. Um, the opportunities and the possibilities to adapt our our technology to are almost endless. But we're we're trying to focus on the Nagel Dance thing right now. In the future, it's also 
we also already thought about having um, like other devices that um, could be the input for our for our software. And um, yeah, definitely there will be other products in the next couple of years. Yeah. And um, yeah. That's great. And finally, I wanted to finish by talking about the Indiegogo campaign. So uh, you've mentioned that it should be essentially this show is going to be live on Thursday. So it's going to it's, it's already live for the people that are listening to it. So if you go on Indiegogo and check out Nagwell Dance, you'll find it there. Uh, what kind of options are available for uh, for helping other projects uh, right right now? Yeah, this, this is like we have like a really cool early bird, early bird that then gives you Nagwell Dance for. For um for all only forty five dollars and you get it um, with ten soundscapes and then um, this is our super early bird and then there will be like an other early bird later on sure. and we also have um, options for um, producers so producers Great. will have like the opportunity to buy a package and um, once they buy that package or they pledge for that package they they can have their own soundscape they just send us the track they of, of course, they need to own the rights of that track, but they yeah. send us the track and we will make an interactive version of that track. We will have an, awesome. an, a perk that um, gives the people the opportunity to have their own Nagual Dance party before Nagual Dance is on the market. Or even if it's on the market, we will come to that, these people and um, set up Nagual Dance there and have a great party with them. And the biggest perk that we have is like we invite people to Berlin and um, have, a, have a splendid time with us on the weekend, go out with us, and over the days we will produce a soundscape together with them in our studio, and at the end there will be a finished soundscape for the people who um, for the people who are interested in doing this. Awesome. So um, we have like a lot of um, yeah exciting perks, and yeah. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. That's fantastic. Well, I look forward to seeing uh, uh, the projects uh, uh, you know, go live and uh, uh, definitely I'll uh, throw in all the links uh, into the show notes so that people can go and check it out that I have been listening to this show. Uh, also, if you want to find out more about the company, uh, aside from the Indiegogo page, you can check out nagwellsounds.com and you'll find all the information there. You can also go and check out my interview from South by Southwest uh, on uh, YouTube uh, as well. And uh, uh, Matthias, uh, thanks so much for your time. Uh, uh, best of luck uh, with the Indiegogo, I'm sure it's going to be great. And uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, see you soon in Berlin. Yeah, thank you. See you soon. Have and, a good time. And thanks so much for listening to the DMT One to One Show. The show comes out every week. You can find it on uh, digitalmusictrans.com and follow the links through to the DMT One to One, or you can also find it on uh, iTunes, uh, SoundCloud, uh, uh, Spreaker, and a bunch of uh, other services. Thanks so much for listening. Have a fantastic week, and uh, till next time. If you enjoyed watching or listening to the show and would like to find more, head on to digitalmusictrends.com.